Hello and welcome to this next tutorial. I'm going to try and uh, do a shorter form this time. Uh, so I've got this dress uh, which I've put a little base texture on the top uh, and on the lower of the skirt. So I've got three skirts and what I want to do is make a, a kind of light meshy material that goes on the other two skirts. So I'm going to select my layer here and first of all I'm just going to delete that and add a fill and in that fill uh, I'm going to turn everything off but colour uh, so there we go so it's alt click colour and uh, we can use in our textures over here uh, any of our tiling textures and I've got a hexagon uh, pattern here which works very well so I'll drag and drop that into the base colour oh no that's not the one I want <laughs> it's this one sorry there we go so I'll just pop that in there okay so first of all as you can see it's quite big um, so that's not good to us at all so first of all we'll go down here and I'm going to increase the amount of tiles so you're probably not going to get down to a level that uh, you really want uh, you know just by going up 16 but you can over type this so if I take it to 32 you'll see it becomes much smaller now just be aware that if you take it too high it will become really just kind of blurry and distorted and you may find that it doesn't work at all so you might just need to balance that I think uh, let's try 40 uh, even that's a bit it's back to 32 again yeah okay so well the other thing in here is there's some dots in this thing so I want to take those out just so we've just got this nice clean hexagon and I've got a border width which I can increase which will give me a little bit more to work with and now I can probably up this to say 40 and it's not going to be too bad okay so that's nice uh, but it's not actually doing anything it's just coloring it you know it's just like a texture um, this is basically my base function so I'm just going to rename this uh, to base function whoops if I didn't have caps lock selected there we go and so I can use this in other layers I'm going to add an anchor point okay so this base function I don't actually want to show anywhere uh, but I do want to use the the color on it uh, so let's add a fill layer above that and for this one all I want is the opacity channel so leave that on and click on the opacity channel itself go to anchor points and select your anchor point and then from the channels we want base color and as you can see that's come in but it's completely the wrong way around it's leaving the holes and taking the mesh out we want it to be reversed so if I go to my base function here I could just hit the invert and there we go now we've got a nice mesh over the top of our uh, well a nice mesh <laughs> material for the skirts over the top of our original material uh, and of course you know in these layers I could put a color on here uh, say so just have a, a black one instead and of course we can increase the roughness if we add roughness back and just bring that up so it's not quite so mad and then just on my other one I'm gonna grab my gradient things here for my main colors and just put those back in again because white's not you know not what I was going for uh, let's take this one there we go and I think I've turned this right down so there we are <laughs> so there we have it um, we have a mesh we have a nice uh, sort of texture uh, I've done that before on various other substance texturing tutorials so I won't bore you with doing all that again but I just wanted to show you how to make this kind of meshy material uh, that you could use on cloth you can use it on almost anything really uh, you can make a fence out of it you could you know make a floor out of it with holes in you, all sorts of things 
So I hope you found that useful and uh, I'll talk to you again soon.